How was work? Oh, uh, Edward never came in. Yeah, he's been really worried about Jason. Yeah, well, Tracy's making the most of it. Striding around, barking orders. Something has put her into overdrive. I have no idea what. She taking that on you? On everyone. But the good news is, the lawyers asked me to sit into a meeting. I made some good comments, and now they've asked me to do some paralegal work for them. Are you serious? Yeah. Abby, that's awesome. That's just what you wanted. You might have found it interesting, too. Oh, I, I doubt that. Well, you love to sail? We're working on contracts for a yacht race that ELQ is sponsoring. Well, that sounds pretty awesome. I mean, the family business is more of my thing, but that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, how was your first day? Um... It doesn't look like you're loading trucks anywhere. Yeah. Follow me. Okay. Here. Sit down. I want you to do a blind taste test for me. And tell me which one that you like best. Okay, your father must have people who do this for him. Just work with me. Why? What are you what are you up to here? Okay. Wow. Uh, too much? No, it's beautiful. You were obviously planning a very special occasion. I was. Yeah. I mean it's pretty much the most important thing I'm gonna do in my life, so Really? Does Maxie have any idea? None whatsoever. I, I was hoping she was going to be happy about it, but truthfully, I don't think she can be as excited about it as I am. No, she might surprise you. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Well, you guys have been together a while, and she might just say yes. <sighs> you, you thought that I was going to ask her to marry me. Well, isn't that why you did all this? <laughs> so, okay, so you remember that research that you, you saw that I was doing and you were asking if I, I knew somebody yeah, who was research. doing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I, I, it's, it, it's me. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy. The guy? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, and I'm about to be published. Wow. Yeah. It's going to change my life. And, and, and more so, it's, it's going to hopefully change other people's lives. I, I just need to tell somebody. I'm so sorry. For because I am the one who should be prepping you up, and here I am. I'm falling apart. Done. Okay. Done. We don't have time for that. We're gonna stay positive for Christina. We are. Okay. Okay. You good? I'm blessed. I love you. I love you. I love you more. You ready to face the troops? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ready? Hold on. Okay. You good? Okay. Oh, no. I thought things with the wedding were reasonably under control. It turns out that I was wrong. Maxi is completely scattered, and she hasn't decided anything yet, and I am just overwhelmed. The wedding is only two weeks away. You yes. really do need help. I know, I know, and somehow I thought this was all going to magically fall into place. Uh, have you even picked out the flowers? <sighs> the centerpieces and table decorations? Uh, the bridesmaids dress? No, no, and no, she didn't get samples or anything. She's been too busy. Ooh, not to scare you, but this is a serious crisis. Don't get her panicked. Oh, no. Am I really that far behind? Dress fittings and alterations can take three to four weeks. Oh, no. Same with the floor. The bakery. The bakery. Well, I, I, I did have some cake from Luzetta's. She Luzetta's is back ordered for months. You're too late, Sam. Oh, no. Am I really? Yeah, you may have to just postpone the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you two doing? Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? <laughs> We've been working with Maxie the whole time. You should have seen the look on your face. Oh, that's funny. so, so funny. Got you. you did get me. I was about to panic. Don't worry, everyone's on hold. The florist, the dress shop, the table rental company. Yep, all you have to do is make the final decisions mm. with Jason. Look at your sisters ever. Thank you. Mm. Let me. Mm. Oh, I was so scared. Nobody calls you till you was awake. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just didn't know if you were you and if you remembered me. I remember you. I was just so worried that you just wouldn't want to put up with me anymore, and that you would decide that I was too demanding and not worth the trouble, and that I'd lost my best friend, which was totally freaking me out. What do you need? that this is just all about me needing something from you. Well, because before Sarah, you said that Michael was going to go work for Sonny or Sonny was going to... I want you to know that, you know, I can, I can get through my life without constant help from you. 
for at least a day or two. It's good to know. See, you guys are still going through with the wedding, huh? Yeah, no reason we shouldn't. Oh, God forbid Sam let something like brain surgery stand in her way, huh? It wasn't Sam who pushed it. I, I want to keep the date. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. You're okay. You're okay, and you're still you. You keep saying that. I know. I know. It's just that well, Robin and Patrick, when they told us that this whole surgery was from the original accident with AJ, I think everyone was thinking about it. I do. I mean, you woke up a different person. And you thought it might happen again. Were you worried about it? Not really. I was terrified. You know, Robin, after they wheeled you in to surgery, Robin turned to all of us and said that we should go someplace where we felt close to you and send you tons of positive thoughts. Jake's? Of course. Where we first met. I've thought a lot about it. How things would be if I had made different choices. Your opinion is important to me. Come on. I am no coffee snob. You know this. You're the one who bought that fancy coffee maker and who whips up those lattes in the morning. Well, you know you love them. True. Come on. Taste them and tell me what you think and you give me your honest opinion. Okay, okay. If you're going to get all pushy about it. That's delicious. delicious. That's, that's, that's delicious. <laughs> hey, are we doing this taste test or what? All right, all right. Sorry. Okay. Give you the second one here. Okay. Thank you. Mm. That is fabulous. Fabulous, all right. Mm -hmm. And the final one, number three. <clears throat> Yummy. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got delicious, we've got fabulous, and we've got yummy. <laughs> you can do better? I, I sure hope so. <laughs> Fine. Now that you've thrown down the gauntlet, you try. I've already had all these. There's no... Oh, come on. Taste it again. Number three. I want to hear what you think. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Smooth. Rich, earthy, slight cocoa flavor, um, <laughs> peach undertones, a touch of lemon, and a hint of sweet kiwi. You can really taste all that? No, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> Stop it. So which one did you like the most? Number three. Number three. Definitely the yummiest. I agree. Well, that's one more thing we have in common. I'll put more number three in the order. Order. Yeah, it's my new job. I'm the new warehouse manager. I'm flattered you'd want to share this with me. I think it's an amazing achievement. Aren't there others you'd want to share this with first? Well, like Maxie. Well, you saw how that went, right? She's busy. I know. With <laughs> Spinelli and Jason and Sam's wedding and working for a fashion tyrant. Get a number. Get in line. Well, all I can say is she really missed out on tonight. Yeah, well, she wouldn't have understood if we were uh, talking about it with any of the work. It doesn't really matter. It's more about being supportive. You, you know, not her strong suit. She's very caught up in her whole world, so. Mm. Sorry. No, no, there's nothing to be sorry about. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, she makes the perfect girlfriend. Okay, please explain. Well, she's always running around doing her things. I mean, you think she's high maintenance, but she's not. And I'm doing my research. I mean, you know how much work this is. Mm -hmm. Getting in front of those peer panels, that takes a lot of time. When I'm not doing my day job, I'm in the lab. Well, I think what you're doing is amazing, and clearly this is a major breakthrough for cancer treatment. I'm sorry your girlfriend doesn't know about it. But you do. You just needed one look at the folder, and you knew exactly what it was that I was talking about. I mean, this research has consumed years of my life and it's finally about to pay off i'm so excited for you <laughs> and i'm very happy to share it with you i know you wish it could still be her all right 
We should be safe here for a bit. No one followed us, so. Oh, it's so sad to see it like this. Whenever I think of the star, I think of it so full of life. With Luke front and center, showman, an incandescent presence, people want to be near. Yeah, Lulu owns the place now. Nicholas put up the money for her to buy it. Really? Why? I don't know. Guess she wanted to restore the place to its former glory. Give Luke a place to come back to. Well, she doesn't seem to have gotten very far. I think she finally realized she needed to leave Luke to his own devices and focus on her own life. What about your life? Do you miss bartending, playing the tables side by side with Luke? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But there's not much I can do about it now. Any other job on the horizon? Well, I score on the occasional card game, pick a few pockets, but other than that, the future is wide open. So I hope I've convinced you to stick around and look after Edward. Yeah, I'll stick around for a bit. See what else uh, the Truckles has to offer. <laughs> Luke's right. Yeah, you miss him. Yeah, I suppose I'm kind of like Lucky and Lulu in that sense. We're all in limbo right now, just waiting to see if or when Luke will pop back up, you know. But enough of that. Um, I gotta go make some arrangements to get you out of town. Another way you and Luke are alike. You're both chivalrous in an odd kind of way. <laughs> Guess you bring out the best in us. There's, uh, there's snacks behind the bar or beer or water, whatever you need. You should be safe here.